you're kind of just stuck in those situations. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. that was a that was a really wild game three right there. Joe, uh, just sending Zero Suit to Battlefield is just it's just a big gamble. I, I know Yoshi's so good on it, especially if he can like find like a double jump down air or even like a down B combo yeah. or a down B ender. Like it's really solid, but. I just think the cards just weren't in his favor on that stage. There was even a point where, like, he recognized that Dorsop was going to, like, prat ball on a platform, and he tried to catch the up smash to cover the options, but it just missed. And yeah. meanwhile, Dorsop getting that crazy extension with those fares, let alone the ladders he got with boost kick, really just a great stage to take her to. Uh, and if they play again in the future, I'd just say maybe not here, but Dro definitely played it well and a great showing. He was the sixth seed of this tournament, so he definitely wasn't, like, a complete underdog, but yeah. I just really couldn't find a lot of results until recently, and that might just be like a start GG thing, like maybe a tag change or something. I don't know, but yeah, he, he played fantastic, so congrats to him. Going to be going out at third. I think another MVP of that set would be the Zare to ledge. Just being able to automatically like grab the ledge with it um, makes it a lot harder for you to go out and edge guard ZSS, even though she does have a lot of those resources. Doorstop just like immediately gets to the ledge, doesn't let Yoshi go out there with the fair that he's looking for, for mm -hmm. the Nair, that would put her in a, a worse situation. So I think just like immediately getting rid of that advantage for Dro to take those stocks is just like very hard to deal with when you're Yoshi. And especially when you don't have the speed to really get out there and set up that trap either. Yeah. Well, everybody, we are finally here. After a long weekend, we are here at Grand Finals of Full Bloom 2024. Who is going to take this? We have Danny coming out, repping T uh, Tennessee real strong as the person on the winner side of Grands and Doorstop, who's been on a long, long run to claw his way back here. Yeah, so these two have played before. They've been at a ton of tournaments together and have not, like, never actually played until pretty recently at Don't Get Tilted 100, which is the uh, University of Kentucky Weekly, where I think it was game five and Danny clutched up and, uh, and won that. But Dorsop was playing PT, so choosing to go ZSS in this, uh, this instead. I know these guys have been playing this uh, this matchup all weekend and mm -hmm. friendly, so I'm excited to see how it's going to play out in bracket. Which is also like a cool thing to see because uh, considering uh, the way the bracket was seeded, these were for sure two people that pretty much everyone predicted to be in top three, if not grand finals directly. So the fact that they practice with each other and really try to optimize the training they can get out of the event is really awesome. Uh, that aside, we have ourselves an even game. Doorstop just running that paralyzer being like, if you step over here, you die, you know? Uh, we were talking about it early in the room, and like that covers a lot of space, but if it whips, it's very hard to whiff punish it, so it's kind of worse just throwing out neutral every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah, it really seems like Danny's struggling to get off of the ledge, but with ZSS, you can kind of just flip jump to the other side of the stage and disengage, so it's making it a lot harder for Danny to lock her down. Ooh, Ooh nice. love that read there, using the side B to take that stock, setting it 102, and do have to be careful with that invincibility on Wolf. Tries to go for the down smash, but not able to find it. Again, just poking with the Zare, going to be a really good tool for ZSS. Ooh. Not able to tech, but still not going to lose our stock. Again, using that, the Zare to the ledge is going to be super clutch for not letting Danny just drop zone with that Nair. Yeah, especially good reaction, too, after getting a shot out of the sky from that flip jump. So Danny truly just one interaction away from here, especially up tilt. And he did it before I could say it. Uh, I would say up tilt is going to be a big threat just because Zero Suit hangs out in that range a lot from Wolf. Uh, so Danny definitely called it out and found a lot. Nair not going to lead to flip kick this time, but definitely got Danny in a precarious situation. Doorstop choosing to use the up throw in that percent because it is the highest damage of the throws and also... Um, it's the quickest, so it just Ooh. lets you reset the situation. Able to find that backer, and that's a nice zero to death there from uh, from doorstop. He got really, really good at calling out jumps these last yeah. two games. He, he, yo, he read Dro's jump so bad last game. He said, "I'm gonna do it to Danny as well." Like it just literally just steamrolled over. Uh, so yeah, Danny kept it really close, but now he's down a full stock. The wolf's still a really high damage character, so definitely not count him out, especially since Danny's playing amazing. Ooh. And if he found that back here, it would have immediately even things up. Just barely missed. Ooh, missing that grab nearly as well. Choosing to go to the platforms, but we do have to be careful. We've seen that Danny is very good at covering the platforms with up tilt. Though we're not at up tilt kill percents, something to keep in mind for these later percents on ZSS. I like that. Couldn't cover the platform with himself, but threw the projectile in there, trying to get that ship damage. I like that we're seeing more and more players are trying to optimize whatever they can find here. Danny finding another up tilt, but just not enough to kill just yet. Dorsop got another couple chances. This time he's starting to parry the up tilt. He has seen the problem, <laughs> clearly. 
Dash attack going to be a really good option for ZSS as a grounded whiff tool. She doesn't really have a lot outside of that. Um, just, ooh, mm, yeah, that is. up tilt again. Just really good stuff there from Danny. Able to find these stocks pretty easily, not letting ZSS live to super high percents like we typically see with her maneuverability and uh, really good disadvantage options. Yeah, Danny's definitely figured something out. That time maneuvering past uh, Zare, which is really huge, getting a lot of damage here. Really kind of starting to cook. Doorstop gonna have to do something to slow down the momentum because Danny's just one or two small aerial exchanges away from evening things up. Oh, but another jump caught out by back air. And honestly, someone pointed out something funny. They said every character in this game from outer space has the craziest back air you've ever seen. Yeah. And they're only ranked against the other people's back airs. Like all three of the main spaces, Ridley has a huge back air, both the Samuses. I don't know what it is, but like if, you, if you've been to the moon, your back air is insane. <laughs> it's the space boots, dude. It's, it's the space boots, that's what it is, yeah. I mean, Zero Suit literally with like the thrusters and yep. her, her heels and stuff, you know, high heels on my tippies. <laughs> Boof kick in the sky. Big foot. <laughs> Get up on your good foot. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that song was trash. She kind of looks like Juan Nikki. She does. A little, a little <laughs> Nikki, yeah. She, she might, Zero Suit might be a barb. I don't know. <laughs> I hope not. She's going to dox Wolf in the <laughs> M4. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I like that down tilt. That's an option that we haven't seen from Doorstop a lot. Oh. Um, it's going to be like a, a nice low profile so that when we see Danny using a lot of these landing aerials like the Nair in the back air and fair too, especially the uh, the best combo starter at this percent, it might low profile and also hit him so that uh, Dorsat's able to reverse the situation. All right, using the F, they're trying to get him out of there. Ooh, Danny Risky. narrowly, <laughs> barely avoiding that down smash. I really held my breath there for a second. <laughs> I like how in a lot of these situations, Doorstop's just disengaging whenever Danny's hitting on the shield. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have like a great out of shield punish when he's hitting the back of the shield. Up smash might work for the front of the shield, but doesn't have like a great scoop on it. And Uppy is super risky, especially when you're at 76. If you whiff that at the ledge, Danny's so consistent at hitting those down smashes and up smashes that it's just really not worth. Ooh, just floating barely past that neutral air. This is a very, very close game one. And like you said, Dorsat's being very evasive. Like, we'll go for something, doesn't work, flip jump out, but then he'll Ooh. normally land right back in with another Zare just to see if he can get some extra pressure. And Danny calling out that neutral get up with the up smash. Wolf up smash is criminally underrated. Great stock uh, for him to take there. The Shulk. Yes. I feel like we always see Shulks use that mm -hmm. up smash there, but gonna work out there for Danny instead. Okay, and again, just retreating to these platforms, using a lot of Falling Zare on the shield. Using Falling Nair, Nair there, or uh, Fair instead, maybe trying to use the multi-hit to uh, to mix up Danny's shield. It's struggling to get off the ledge here. Ooh. Ooh. I, the, the thing that's got me freaked out is like Danny just, he keeps getting these like double fair combos and we know that Bear's the big ender. He's just barely missing them, but he's got a lot of games in his pocket. You know, even if he does get reset here, got so many other games to play with. So surely that's going to come into fruition shortly. Yeah, and this matchup seems like trying to figure out who's going to jump first. A lot of the time we see Danny throwing out these back airs at full hop height, trying to find doorstop jumping and doorstop threw out that up smash finding uh, Danny jumping. So it's kind of like a, who jumps first? Who's able to punish? Mm -hmm. Oh, I Ooh. love that down tilt from Danny, forcing him off stage. That was really, really smart. Definitely caught doorstop off guard. And can he get? No, he gets back on the stage. The scoop on that is crazy. I told you. <laughs> I told you that I one up believe. smash is crazy. All right, but able to find that up tilt for that second stock there. Danny with a pretty sizable lead, but do have to be careful once we get around the 30 to 40 percent range. We could see a near flip kick, which we saw against the. Uh, Isaiah. The, yeah, against yeah. Isaiah to steal that game three. So do have to be careful. Ooh, okay, but low pri profiles there with the up smash instead, just not even giving him the shot to uh, to go for that nair. Big damage here from Ooh, Danny. Nice dang. air dodge read. 81% here on doorstop, and it feels like we've only seen like 10 seconds of gameplay. Yeah, Danny really figured something out. All Ooh, right, doorstop yeah. knew he couldn't really kill from that position. But yeah, Danny really figured something out. His spacing got a lot tighter in that second game. The way that he's hurt box shifting has been a huge problem because like he's starting to react to her approaches at first to start off with up tilt, but now he's starting to also mix in those up smashes as well because he can just pancake under. So she's going to have to be really careful when she finds like her approaches because mm -hmm. there is such a huge universally important tool for her. But if you can play around it, you do take a lot out of her kit. Yeah, for sure. And um, 
I also feel like Danny's just doing a really good job of holding on to his stocks too. Typically, we don't see ZSS struggle to take stocks, but the way that Danny's pl playing, using a lot of those low profiles and just controlling space with those aerials, it's making it really hard for Doorstop to find those kill confirms. And especially that down smash, like that was so important. Just hit at a really weird angle where Doorstop wasn't able to to find that up B, but wasn't able to find an extension into the up B either. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just really good stuff there to Danny. All right, game three, both players once again just being really careful, just spacing each other's nares and for zero suit, a Zare, just kind of hoping the other person will run into it. But Danny finding the grab, I think another thing that's kind of turned up for him is that like, he's not necessarily forcing the air-to-air -air exchanges, but he is punishing her landings really well. We also haven't seen Doorstop be able to find any stocks off stage on Danny. His mm -hmm. recoveries have just been amazing all night. And uh, we haven't been able to see like a, a flip kick on the uh, the recovery up. Ooh, okay, Ooh. very important fair there out of shield from Danny, avoiding that down smash and doorstop off stage. This could be scary. Okay, does have his jump. I wasn't confident if he had his jump right there, but I like the mind game, trying to see if he can force Danny to spot dodge. But Danny doesn't take the bait. But all that aside, Danny jumps off the ledge with forward air. Normally such a good idea, but doorstop just out of range and able to get a huge punish for it. Yeah, in a lot of those situations, we see doorstop going for the back air, and I think the fair would win in that case. So really good stuff there to doorstop to stay grounded and read that Danny was going to try to air to air him and go for the down smash instead. Okay. Yeah, definitely doesn't want to throw this lead away. Chilling at 110. Wolf has so many explosive kill options. Like that back here, which just barely <laughs> missed. Zero suit crawling on the ground, being like, can y'all get him away from me, please? <laughs> I don't wanna I don't wanna play with you anymore. Unfortunate whiff grab nice. there. Not gonna get a ton of damage off of that down smash. Not at any percent or position where he would be able to find a near flip kick or that boost kick that we see at higher kill percents. Okay, tries to go for the jab there for the check, but Danny ready for it. F throwing to the other side of the stage. Have to be careful about this nice. drop through back there, but really good stuff there to Danny to again just have that mix up of the uh, the F tilt instead taking that second or the first stock. Yeah, and that's Damn. just gonna spike. Not gonna be able to make it back there with that exploitable recovery from Wolf. So doorstop pretty with a pretty big lead here, but we've seen that Danny's very consistent in hitting these high damage combos and. Wolf just really good at air to airing against CSS. Yeah, both of them just slugging it out right now. And I, you are right to point out, Danny's F tilt, his F tilts have been really, really solid. Like the whole top eight, he's just got like some crazy clutch F tilt that I'm not ready for. And he doesn't go for it very often. So he's really good about conditioning you to hang out in a space where you like want a neutral get up or like maybe jump from ledge and just destroying a stock for it. Yeah, Dorsak relying a lot on that disjoint on Zare, but Danny just doing a really good job of closing that space so that he's not able to use it. We already see here, Dorsak at 90, 5%. Ooh, yeah, throwing up the back air. Yeah. Gotta be careful. What do you do in that situation as the SS? Because you can't jump into the back air, but you can't use the Zare to create space either. So Doorstop literally just has to disengage, and it's kind of mm. like a quick time event as to trying not to die at the ledge, but Danny just on top of it, able to find that up smash. Yeah, fantastic conditioning too. Like he obviously covered jump so, so effectively, but the fact that up, uh, up smash can like cover both sides of the roll is just really, really strong for Wolf. Okay, Danny playing super patient here, trying not to get into that nice. down smash, but able to find the Zare Bear instead to take that game three, four doorstop. I also want to point out that Luigi's Mansion song was ass, so yeah. glad that ended the way that it did, because I was yeah. definitely not feeling it, <laughs> was not into it. Oh no, I just we had something. Like the, uh, My would phone you is about to die, and I do not have a car charger in this car, Ooh. and I have to get two and a half hours away from here. Oh. New problem just unlocked. Oh no! Please Find go a gas on station. You'll saying. be okay. Yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Hold on. Oh, we had the the song from Subspace Emissary playing earlier, and that was such a throwback. I'm meant to bring it up when it was happening. But. Right. All right. Game four. Doorstop clawing his way back in here. Um, after a, a really strong game two from Danny, definitely didn't want to let that uh, slow his momentum down. Uh, so Danny, of course, obviously if he loses this, we just get the reset. He's got plenty of time to shake that off. But uh, I'm curious to see how he starts to change things up. All right, just playing super slow here, looking for an opening with that landing fair from Danny, but doorstop playing super far back, creating a lot of space with that Zare, just not letting Danny get that opening because it will lead to a lot of damage. Okay. Trying to use the down air as a mix up here from doorstop. Weaving around these neutral bees from Danny. But again, just disengaging, going to the other side of the stage. Neither of them able to find an out of shield punish, just poking very safely on each other's shields. Yeah, just kind of jumping in and out of each other's threat, threat ranges, just trying to like bait the other person into a mistake. 
Uh, doorstop kind of taking a play out of Danny's book, being able to scoop him up with that up tilt. Uh, again, kind of like a similar concept. Oh, doesn't get the flip kick, but definitely puts Danny on notice because that could have been a really early stop. Really good beefy up be there from Danny as well. I think if he tried to go to that ledge, there's a good chance that that down air would have hit and he wouldn't have been able to make it back. So really good awareness there, recognizing that doorstop was standing right next to the ledge and capitalizing off of it. Jab lock into up B. Great stuff there from doorstop. Great kill confirm and capitalization off of that tech chase situation. That was a huge momentum swing. Not only is that like a crazy custom combo, uh, that's definitely the momentum you don't want where you're about to like lose uh, the full set because, wow, that was just, I've never seen a zero two go for that before. But Danny, of course, got doorstop at a good percentage, gets the punish with uh, a dash tag, not the ideal wolf punish, but catching the platform with that up tilt, uh, Wolf is very, very solid on this stage, and Danny definitely not going to let this slip out of his hands too easily. Yeah, it seems like the, the platform seems to be the space, safe space for everybody just trying to land there instead of landing on top of Wolf. But I think so often, Danny's opponents have forgotten that Wolf up tilt hits through the platform there. Right. Okay, nice grab there from doorstop hitting off stage. Tries to go for the flip jump spike again. Not able to find it, just retreating back to the ledge. Nice dare into fair. Ooh, I don't know if Danny was looking for that tech off of the ledge there. That could have been disastrous if Dorsop was ready for it. But now struggling to get back onto stage. Love that up air there from him. Ooh, Ooh and he was ready for that grab. I was going to say Dorsop's grabs have been fantastic this game. But yeah, Danny's starting to get a, a good read on when he's going for him. That's a great opportunity for Danny to get. What Yo! The? What? Hello? That was insane. That was so sick from Danny. Not only is that a super clutch way to like cover the ledge, and Dorsop going to respond in kind catching that up B, but it definitely was a really good option to just get doorstop out of that flow state you kind of got to see him like start to mix up his movement go for really crazy custom options and danny's just like i will not make this easy for you nice low percent combo there from doorstop using the fair into up smash mm. love that high recovery there from danny as well again recognizing the doorstop sitting there charging the down smash that's a free opportunity to get back onto ledge oh. nice ci out there from doorstop as well just a oh, oh no, no. No, yeah. not enough. Unfortunately, just dropped from ledge a little bit too low in SD. So now we have ourselves game five of uh, Grand Finals. If Danny takes this, he will be our full bloom champion. But if Doorstop gets it, he will get a reset. And I really wish someone around me could bring me a type C phone charger because <gasps> I'm going to be lost in Indiana with no battery and I work in the morning and I just don't want to die like that. Um, let me see. Hey, friends. Does anybody have a Type C charger? Everybody looks. Uh, maybe, probably. Oh, go, go, go! Oh, yes. Here we go! Yes. Shout out to oh production. My God. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! All right. Now I'm invested in the match again. I'm not gonna be stranded. <laughs> Game five. Town and city. Okay, Danny taking a nice read here. Uh, nice. Oh my Damn. gosh. Nice lead. Nice read. Love that read on the roll in with the fair, leading to a big combo there and almost a stock. Doorstop sitting at 74%, whiffing the dash attack on Doorstop's shield, but not able to get a huge punish off of it. Using this Zare again, but Danny just kind of camping on the platform, not letting Doorstop get that opportunity to get something started here. I love that he just cooked and was like, now what are you going to do? Yeah. He's just like disengaged entirely it's a for like 20 battle. seconds. Right. And he's like, uh, um, okay. Tell him something they don't know about me, <laughs> like cross his arms. But yeah, that was almost like a yeet stock, like fastest stock, uh, yeet smash fastest stock situation. But uh, let's see if Doorstop can maybe find something, getting a little bit anti going for that dash attack. Uh, not getting punished Ooh. too hard. Starting to find something, though. I will say, Doorstop has been very good about catching out these reads, very good about punishing these neutral get-ups, and despite everything Danny did at the start, start of this, he is now down a stock. Okay, love that down air there. Not able to find it, though. Danny just swinging out of disadvantage, not letting Doorstop get anything started, retreating to the platform here, and then going to center stage, trying to use that back air to find the stock, but able to mix him up with the double hit of fair hitting off stage with the uh Ooh. oh i thought he was going to confirm that into back air yeah that would have been smoking hot i definitely thought it was going to happen but yeah as explosive as this has been doorstop's only been hit by like two or three straight hits like ever since that start uh, happened don't know how that side b didn't hit but luckily for doorstop he's still alive still in this game sitting at 144 on first stock Danny just really struggling to find the kill. Doorstop using these platforms to his advantage, making Danny have to commit to the full hop back air and uh, just able to maneuver around him, trying to find this down smash. And there's that mm. this side B that we were talking about where you can use it on the shield. Not going to die just yet. D does the up one have more hits to it? 
It what has it? like one extra hit on it that okay. pops you up in the air. That's what it was. So yeah. like, it definitely looked like it lingered just a hair longer there. All right, catching the uh, jump on the other side of his shield with the up tilt. Danny takes that stock after a very hard fought two minutes. Um, this is still a pretty good position for him, of course. Wolf back air is like crazy, and a town and city's horizontal platform, uh, horizontal blast zones no are all jump. messed up. Okay, but able to use that side B to make it back. Doorstop just not able to find the edge guard. Big mm -hmm. damage here for Danny. It's so important that Doorstop takes this stock as soon as possible because Rage Wolf on Town and City is not what you want to see when you're ZSS. I'm not gonna lie. I thought he was gonna go for the suicide wolf flash yeah. right there. That would have been crazy, but Danny again, a character, a player that's very calculated, knows when to pick his shots, knows when to disengage, and knows how to bring back a what? match. Wow, parrying the up smash. That was super good. F2 from crap. Danny. Okay. Wow. Well. <laughs> Such a gentle punish. Just yeah. there in the F tilt. Little Gonna even the socks up. All right, yeah, and we're back to neutral here, folks. Trying to use that Zare, but not gonna work out. Danny able to get some uh -oh. good punishes here. Is Doorstop gonna be able to make it off of the ledge? No platforms to use on the FD version here. Uh-oh, Danny's really cooking right now. On tournament point, Doorstop cannot afford to make a single mistake, and you see the crowd really coming alive. Who is going to take this next stock? It means everything to these players. Gosh, this is looking really tough for Doorstop. Not able to find a good way off the stage, but Ooh, matching that gosh. jab to make sure that uh, Danny doesn't find the big punishes he's found throughout the set yeah. in that position. Very fast. Uh-oh. Very fast jab there. Going to be frame one. Oh! Ooh! Ooh, mama. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Trying to find the down smash. Have to be careful of this back air that Danny's looking for out of shield. Doorstop trying to cover the landing, but gets reversal here. Is he going to be able to make it back on stage? Again, there's that jab one so fast. Oh, my God. Let's Ooh. find out. Danny getting a forward air. Uh, out of disadvantage there and using the most important Holy flip jump of his God. life to save himself to force Danny into a tech chase situation and reset the bracket. What an incredibly clutch play from Cincinnati Fierce doorstop. Holy crap. Great stuff to both players there. That was such an explosive set. So glad that we get at least another three games of that.